It's a new year with a ton of opportunity. So in this video, we're talking about some things that you need to think about and some ways to approach the content that you're creating so that you can be a successful creator. Let's get into it. So for the last week, I've been here in Maui, taking a break just from everything. Last year was kind of crazy with the content that I was creating and just the amount that I had to get done before the year was up. It was, uh, it was a rough end of the year for me in terms of just time and all the things that I said yes to. And that's one element that we're gonna talk about today in this video, but I do wanna start with something that I think is super important. And as a creator, when you start the new year, it's a good opportunity to kind of set your intention for the year. So what, what do you wanna get out of the year? You're here to be a YouTuber. You're here to be a creator. You're here to find that secret sauce that's gonna make you successful. But honestly, there's not just like one thing that's gonna make you a successful YouTuber. It takes time, it takes a lot of dedication. There's a lot of just other elements that go into it, but you can set yourself up for success. So at the beginning of every year, I like to sit down and choose one word that's gonna help me define what my goals are for that year. So one year my word was create, another year it was consistency, last year it was expand, and my idea was that I just wanted to expand my brand, and so every morning I wake up and I think about this idea, what am I doing to help expand what I'm doing? So this year for me, my word is intent, because I wanna have a clear intent and I wanna have a reason for everything that I'm doing so that I can be more specific with what I'm creating and be more specific with the direction that my channel is going and just everything around my channel because I've been just kind of going after it, going as hard as I can and just trying a bunch of different things and that's a good technique to get going, get the momentum rolling. But eventually, you can't do everything. And last year, I was starting to feel that burnout. I was starting to feel the effects of just saying yes to too many things and now, my idea is that I wanna have more of a clear intent with the videos that I'm creating. So for you, no matter what stage you are as a creator, one of the things that you need to do right now is just think of what is gonna be your word. So instead of having like a New Year's resolution and having goals that are kind of unattainable, a word is simple and it's something that you can practice in different elements of your life. It doesn't have to just be like this one specific goal. So what I want you guys to think about is your one word that's gonna help you define this next year for you. And it's actually gonna help you find more success in that way. Now, let's go into some tips on how to be a successful YouTuber this year. And there's some things that I want you to think about. We have to understand, A, what the algorithm wants, and then B, I have a list of a few things that's really gonna help you be successful if you just focus on this and not all the stuff you see online. There's just so much noise out there. And honestly, when you simplify it down into what's important, it's actually not that hard to be successful. It just takes time, it takes consistency, all of that good stuff. All right, so let's talk about the YouTube algorithm. And this is probably one of the most misunderstood aspects around being successful on YouTube because people are always saying the algorithm is out to get you when in reality it's not. You just have to understand how the algorithm works and then you can be a successful creator. So let's just break this down into the most simplest form possible. So what the algorithm wants is basically for a viewer to stay on YouTube and watch more videos. The idea is that the algorithm wants people to binge watch content. So if your videos help satisfy that need, then you're gonna satisfy the algorithm and you're gonna get boosted higher in the ranking system and you're gonna get suggested and all of that. So you have to make sure that you're creating within YouTube's terms of service and you're not doing anything that's gonna violate their policies. If you're going against whatever YouTube is saying is okay to create, then you're not gonna find success. And with that also comes advertiser friendly. So you have to make your content advertiser friendly so that you can get paid off the videos that you're creating and then you have to make sure you're within the terms of service. Now, there's obviously exceptions to the rules, but what I'm saying for a general blanket, if you wanna find success on the platform, you gotta play by the rules. So the key to satisfy the algorithm is basically get people to binge watch a ton of content get them to watch the entirety of each one of your videos and play by the rules. And then you will find success because if you're doing that, then you're satisfying what YouTube wants. So let me go through some specific tips that's gonna help you this year on YouTube. And the first is understand your why. So why are you creating? Like what's the purpose of your videos? Are you there to entertain? Are you there to educate? Do you know the type of people that are gonna be interested in the videos that you're creating? Once you can find your target audience and you understand your why, 
then every video you make is going to make sense because you're like, oh, this satisfies the reason why I'm creating, so I'm gonna create it. And you're not gonna be so focused on the numbers, which that's my second point is don't focus on the numbers. Don't look at subscribers, don't care how many subscribers you lose, how many you gain, don't care about the amount of views and all of that per video because if you're more focused on your audience, who is interested in the videos that you're creating, then you will generate the views, subscribers, and all of that. Yes, you do wanna look at your analytics to see like how good your watch time is, how many views you're getting, how many subscribers you're getting off of certain types of videos, but if that's all you're focused on, then you're never gonna actually grow because all you're focused on is a number which comes down to a like transactional experience where if I create X, I'll get X amount of subscribers. Well, you're not actually going to be satisfying your audience to the degree of giving them something that they want to be a part of, a part of the community. And so that comes to my next point, which is build a community. So instead of just creating videos that you know will get views and subscribers, create for an audience. And also with that, do things like comment back to everyone that comments on your videos as much as possible. When you get to a certain point, it's gonna get harder and harder to comment back, but as a smaller creator, you wanna make sure that you're building a community and you're satisfying a group of people rather than just trying to get people to hit that subscribe button. You really want to build a group of people around you that actually care about the content that you create so that if you create different styles of content within the same kind of category, people are gonna be interested in everything that you're creating and not just the main topical video like how to shoot epic b-roll. That's like been one of those trends I've been seeing lately because a lot of people are shooting these videos on how to shoot epic b-roll, which is great. That's a cool topic to shoot, but if you're just doing it to boost your channel and then you don't have other videos to follow up that kind of build on that topic and are around that topic, then it's gonna fall flat. So you wanna make sure that if you're going to go after a trending topic that it fits within your brand or your niche. And so that comes down to my next point, which is focus on an audience and not a single niche or topic. Now, everyone talks about how you have to pick your niche and you have to find your niche. Yes, that is super important. If you have a variety channel where you have a bunch of different ideas, you're not gonna grow because you have to satisfy one audience. But instead of thinking about it in terms of just a single topic or just a single idea, think about it more as a single audience. So if you were to put yourself in your audience's shoes, what kind of videos would they want to watch on your channel? And so when I think about my audience, I don't think, oh, my audience just wants to see filmmaking tutorials because my audience is creators. So there's actually a whole world of videos that I can create that my audience is gonna be interested in. So you have to think about who is your target audience? Who are the people that are watching and what are the types of videos that they would like to see? Now, if you're a filmmaking channel, yes, a cooking video probably is not going to work. But if you're a filmmaking channel, then maybe a photography tutorial would work or maybe a vlog where they go behind the scenes on an adventure would work because it still satisfies that one audience. All right, I'm gonna pause the video right here because a lot of people have been asking me about my vlogging setup because everyone thinks I'm on a gimbal. But in reality, I'm just using the Olympus EM5 Mark III, which is this camera right here. It's a pretty amazing camera. I got my massive lens on it, but this camera has amazing stability. It's got awesome autofocus, so I know my shot's always in focus. I know it's always gonna be stable, but yeah, I have it on a switch pod. I don't have it on a gimbal. I just wanted to show this because I've been using this on a few videos recently, and uh, I keep getting this question over and over. My next tip is easy to say, but it is harder to put in practice, but that is have zero expectations. If something fails, you don't want it to destroy you. You don't want it to make you feel awful. But the same way, if you have something that does amazing and the video just takes off, you don't want to like get so excited and then that's all you do and you end up forgetting about everything else that you wanted to create. So have zero expectations and focus more on the audience. And when you do that, yes, you will start seeing success. You'll start seeing the numbers build and all that, but don't let it get to your head. Just approach the videos you're creating now and the videos you're creating years from now with the same kind of expectations. Create because you want to create and create because you know that your audience would be interested in seeing those videos and you will see your channel start to build from that. And my next tip is be known for something. So understand your why. Why are you creating and what value you're bringing to the community? And what is that one thing that people are going to remember you for? So someone like Picasso, he made 
thousands and thousands of paintings, but he's really only known for a handful of paintings. And so you're gonna create hundreds, if not thousands of videos, but there's really gonna be certain things that people will come to your channel for. So what is one thing that people are really going to pull out of your channel? And what is something you're gonna be known for? And once you can start identifying that, you can start building more content around that and really get hyper-focused. And that comes back to everything I was saying. Understand your why, understand your audience, and understand what kind of videos satisfy your audience, and then you can be known for something. Another tip is always be learning. So don't ever think you're the most skilled person at X. There's always something that you can learn. So in this next year, focus on improving your audio, focus on improving your visuals. What are things that you can do that's gonna take your videos and make them look and sound a little bit better? What are some things that you're gonna do that's gonna help your presentation or the information that you're sharing? Or what is gonna make you more entertaining? You need to just keep that learning cycle going and don't stop and just get stagnant doing the same thing over and over. And with this idea of just getting stagnant and being lazy, don't be lazy with your thumbnails. So actually put effort into the thumbnails and the titles. So you could create the best videos in the world, but you need to create engaging titles and thumbnails so that people will actually click on your videos. So one thing to really focus on this year is improving your titles and thumbnails. What's gonna make you stand out among all the videos in that topic that you're creating for. So start doing research and looking at other titles and thumbnails and start figuring out where you can stand out and where you could create visuals that are engaging so that someone's like, oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna click on that. So I've got two more tips for you. Number one is make content that's shareable because if people want to share your content, then it's not only gonna get spread to more people, but also it's gonna satisfy the algorithm because essentially that's what the algorithm wants is shareable content. Videos that actually get people to watch more content and videos that get spread because the more people are on the platform, the more YouTube is gonna be happy. Now, my final tip is be consistent and keep uploading. Super simple to say, but it is something that you just need to keep working on. So try to put out a video once a week, try to put a video out once every other week, but try to stay consistent and keep going. It took me over 200 videos before I found out which videos work for me and what kind of content I like creating. So it's not gonna happen overnight. As everyone says, it's a marathon, not a sprint, but in reality, yeah, it's like an ultra marathon. It's like a crazy, ridiculously long distance marathon. But you just need to keep going, keep uploading, be consistent, think about your audience, think about your why, and you will find success on the platform this year. All right, guys, I know you are gonna have a successful year if you put in the time and you put in the work it just takes doing the steps and focusing on the things that matter and stop focusing on the things that don't. Now, if you wanna see another video series that I did on how to get your first 1,000 subscribers, I'll put a link right here. And guys, also, if you wanna just jumpstart your YouTube career, I do have a step-by-step -step guide. I've created an online school called the Creator Film School, and I have a course on there that goes through my entire technique on how I was able to build my channel from zero to where it is now. All right, I will see you on the next one.